Hey there, Michael Griffiths here from Leverage Connections. I want to share with you what's the key to winning at LinkedIn. See, LinkedIn's not all that different to your Facebook, your Instagram, but at the same time, it is different. What you've got to focus on is getting into conversations. But I want to just quickly draw out for you, what would I be doing if I needed to win at LinkedIn? Now, LinkedIn, it's the world's largest free database. If your people are on there, they're really easy to be able to find. But it starts with this. It starts with what we call connect. And the first thing you've got to do is that you've got to be able to build this network. You've got to be able to build this audience. Hey, we call it your million dollar network. But you've got to be putting people in there who can actually help your business grow. Now, I think this is a huge mistake. In the world we're in right now, most people are very hunter-focused, very sales-focused. So who do they want to put in there? They want to put in there potential clients. At 100%, you do. But that's not all you need in your network. You also need strategic partners. You also need people who can open doors for you. We call them door openers. You need people in your network who are great at just simply supporting you. You see, every single person has the ability to help you grow your business when you do this right. But the first step is that you have to bring people into that network, that audience, on purpose. Not just hope that they turn up, not just accept who it is that's connecting with you. You have to actually connect with the right people. So quickly do this for me and say, who are the people that I want in my million dollar network? So as an example, just speaking to one of our clients the other day, they're a broker. They work purely with medical surgeons, with general practitioners. That's who they've got great finance for. So that's who they want in that audience. So now every day, they can connect with those people to better build the audience of the exact people that they want. So now you've got those people, perfect. Unfortunately, what most people now do is they just think there's only one other strategy. And that is down key in being able to share their genius. So how do you share your genius? Well, we post content and we hope that people are gonna see it. Unfortunately, most people don't see it across any of the social platforms. They care about one thing, they're shareholders. So you're gonna be able to pay to get seen. And that's fair enough, that's what the game is. So yes, you have to share your genius, but you have to do other things in terms of being able to nurture, which we call converse, connect, converse. You've got to be able to, on LinkedIn, make sure that you use what's now called the catch-ups. So when you come to your LinkedIn, let me just quickly show you over on my phone. I'll bring up a second screen. And when you come to your LinkedIn, you can come down to my network and you see that button grow and next to it is catch-up. And you've got who are the job changes? Who are the birthdays? Who are the work anniversaries? All of those things allow you to stay front of mind and engaged with your network. And that's really important to make sure that you're staying engaged with your networks. The next thing you've got to be able to do is just simply, how are you? Campaigns. Because all three of those things Allow this to happen. Conversations. None of this, let me slide into your DMs and see if you need what it is I'm selling you. Genuine conversations. Genuine ways to actually deepen relationships with people. Like if your business relies on referrals, word of mouth, people talking about you. If you go, you know what? Most of the time, people buy from me because they know me, they like me, they trust me then you need to be in more conversations. So by building your audience, you then have a way to start nurturing and conversing with those people. And then there's a final piece 
that you need to be able to focus on. We call it grow. See, for most people with their LinkedIn, it goes, it looks like this. Okay. If I just quickly draw out a, a little bell curve, they're doing uh, one of the following things. They're either down here where they're simply spamming. They're in here where they're simply trying to get exposure, post, comment, like. They're in here where they're having what we call nice conversations, where it's like they wish someone a happy birthday. That person says thanks. You say you're welcome and who cares? What we need to be able to do is get into having profitable conversations and the way to get up here into having those profitable conversations we call this that green zone because it's going to actually help you grow your business is you need to be able to simply invite to either a masterclass to be able to get your guide to be able to get some sort of attraction tool or you need to be able to ask do they want help? Do you want to see if we can collaborate together? And until you get to those sorts of conversations, in the end, you, nothing's going to happen off your LinkedIn. So it's really clear in terms of what you need to do. You need to be able to connect with the right people. You then need to be able to converse and nurture those people. Remember, deepen relationships. Get curious about them. Build the know you, like you, trust you factor. And then see how you might be able to add value and actually help them. Now, I've just spoken about how we do that on LinkedIn. You can do that on any social platform. And in fact, you should. You can do that from networking. You can do that from groups that you go to. Any aspect of your marketing should follow a connect, converse, grow type of structure. So when you think about your marketing, are you sitting there? Are you twiddling your thumbs? Or do you actually have a plan to be able to do those sorts of things? That's a simple little format that you can use on LinkedIn. You can also use it on Facebook. You can also use it on Instagram. The whole idea is if you don't have the right sorts of people around you, who are you talking to? Nobody. If you're not then focusing on deepening relationships, it's just simply, I've got all these people around me, and I'm just going to try to sell my stuff to them. Well, if you're a service business, then they're not going to buy from you because every single person that buys your service has some element of, you know what? I actually think this person can make my life better. And they can only get to that when they feel like they can know you and trust you. So focus on those sorts of things and watch your business grow. Hey, been great being with you. Look forward to speaking to you real soon. Uh, make sure you come. Connect with me on LinkedIn. Just look for Michael Griffiths. Uh, you'll see my picture there. And uh, come connect. Say hello. Look forward to speaking to you real soon. Take care, all.